Hey guys, this is Greg here today to talk about the Renaissance Citern. This was an instrument I had hand built from a woman in Bologna, Italy named Anna Radice. We're just going to talk about its basic construction and a few fingerings and tunings to get you started. Um, it's a spruce top, maple back and sides, and it's got a pear fingerboard here which is actually scalloped so it's scalloped like this between the frets. You have to play really gently with this. Um, but it's a really well-made instrument, and I'm learning some things that have been really helpful um, in the last couple of months, and I thought I'd share them with you. The tuning is, it's, it's nine strings. It's got two here, which are B-flat. Three strings on the next course is A-flat. Lower one and two octaves. Next string is D-flat. And finally, F. What I would do if you start with one of these is just the, the actual root note is D flat. I would just start with these two and get your interval down and get comfortable playing it. Here's an example. Get your fifth. Use a really soft pick. I'm using a Zaz pick from Turkey. Something real soft would go well with an instrument of this delicacy, I should say. Here it is again. And you can move up to get your octave. Okay, now if you want to set things straight, here's what you might consider. 3rd fret, top string. That'll give you a nice D flat chord, D flat major. And if you want to go down just one fret, you get this major 7th right here. Now if you want to get some other sounds, you might consider putting um, two fingers on the third fret on the top and bottom strings and you'll get this. Here's an idea too, if you want to go up to the fifth above this, you get this. Just some chord ideas. If you push too hard, everything will go sharp. Because of the scallop fingerboard, you play really lightly. Suspending the chord makes it a little bit sharp, and I'm working on it. You can pick them individually like this in a chord. tell you what, you can't find these. You have to have somebody build them for you, um, which is why I found Ana Radice. There are a lot of builders. If you go to Renaissance Citern on YouTube, 
you might find some builders um, there, but to find one of these in a music store just isn't going to happen, even in Europe. So um, if you want to consult Anna Radice, you spell her name R-A-D-I-C-E. She's in Bologna, Italy, and you know, give her nine months and she'll make one of these for you. So anyway, have fun. Bye-bye.